Hey guys, so this video is long overdue. Today we're going to be talking about my perm update. Hey guys, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Marla. I'm a Dallas-based actress and I do lifestyle vlogs as well as different acting related videos such as tips, advice, etc. We have fun on this channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure that you subscribe and join the fam. I've been needing to do this video for a super long time. I just keep on pushing it back and it got to the point that I was like, okay, I just need to film it and like put it out because time is passing by. My hair is growing out. My perm is getting looser and looser and looser and I wanted to actually do like a three month and a five month but here we are. So as we know, I got a perm five months ago, the very end of May. So beginning of June of this year. I did a video on it. If you have not seen it, I'll link it somewhere here so you can check it out. And I was planning on doing it in a whole series, which I still am. It's just taken a long time. I'm sorry about that. It's taken me so long to do this video because I've literally been wanting to like scrunch it up and like make it nice and cute. But that's just not the reality of my hair and like how it goes down. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wear it how I normally wear it all the time. Because the reality of it is that this is normally how I wear my hair. So I think we're running about third day hair. Second or third day hair. And I'll show you. <laughs> so I had washed this and I had put product in it. And I had put leave-in conditioner. I had put gel. I had used the diffuser on it a little bit. Not not like a hard diffuse but a little bit of a diffuse about two days ago and so this is it now like you could i could run my fingers through it it feels there's like no tangles in it whatsoever and as you can tell the curls are very very loose by like day three and here's my straight pieces but like we've been knowing these pieces been straight okay this this been straight since the beginning like my hair did some crazy stuff the perm didn't really take on this part of my hair so we see the straightness there i had even filmed a clip at osani's like to show y'all what it looked like when it was undone you guys are literally on top of my hair fryer <laughs> Okay, I wanted to quickly include this clip in here. This is my hair just air dried with leave-in conditioner in it. No product except leave-in conditioner. My hair is rarely ever like this. I always either have product in it or it's straightened or like waved or something. But I took a shower last night and just put leave-in conditioner all over. I hope I don't get too much out of focus, but um, it feels so nice and smooth. Probably doesn't help that I'm wearing a hoodie and it's like, it's probably bulgy back here, I'm sorry. But, yeah. It's definitely loosened up, like the curl pattern has definitely, it's more of a wave now. I still love it. But I was like, I'm just going to wear my hair how it is. This is how it is most of the time. I do wear it down like this and I will wear it to work like this. By now it's basically like my hair like ate all the product. Like it literally feels like there's no product there. I haven't brushed my hair since. I haven't added any more product. And it just kind of just does its own thing and like softens out on its own. So this is where we are. So that's the tea on my hair. That is the update. That is the truth. The first couple of months... I was so in love with it. I would do it all the time. I would diffuse it. I would put so much products. I would do it in sections. It has been like so long since I do that religiously like I used to the way that I used to. I will go back to my old hair ways which is like doing nothing except now I have a perm. <laughs> so like it's bad. When I had my regular hair like I could go I could do nothing with it and it looked like it was styled and it was fine. I could literally get away with it. But, um, let's just say, oh, Sunny looks at me like I'm a little crazy when I show up to his house and my hair is like, and I'm like, hi, babe. <laughs> like, and he's like, uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, how's your hair? <laughs> I have not done a good job with keeping up with the maintenance of it. Oh my gosh, can you see him? Anything to be my YouTube video. Anything. Hi, okay, okay. I was so proud of myself at the beginning and I was like, oh my gosh, curly girl life. And I was loving it. And I actually, I actually enjoyed like taking that much time on my hair. I really did. But over time, my low maintenance self just came out and 
this is actually very calmed down because when I first like started to just let it, it still wasn't this relaxed. So it was a lot frizzier. It was a lot puffier. I'm talking about like frizz. Like I needed a lot of moisture. I haven't done one mask in my hair. And like my hair is super dried obviously because of the treatment. I do leave-in conditioner all the time and I've done a deep conditioner like within the shower whenever I'm taking a shower. Two minute mask while I was in the shower. But I have not done like an outside of the shower real deep hydration hair mask whatsoever and I really need to do them so so bad. I just have not had the energy to like I don't even have the energy to do it anymore. <laughs> the curly girl life is hard. It, it's really hard. I think I underestimated it. So at five months in this is what it looks like. I do love it when it's when it's like done though like past two weeks i've been trying to like I'm trying to like do it in sections again and like actually put product because honestly how it's been is like i get out of the shower i put in my leave-in conditioner and i'll just put like, one product like all over and just scrunch like i don't even section it anymore i don't cocktail products anymore like i used to which that really really works don't diffuse like i used to which that really helps a lot it defines them so well and it like helps to give all them i haven't been doing that I've just been trying to be low maintenance with this hair and it don't work with a perm. It just does not work. Like your hair is not going to be looking cute. And I've like just grown to be okay with it and accept looking crazy. Like I don't mind. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I got my lip balm on, got my mascara on, a little blush. I'm good. And I've always kind of like a little bit of the messy look. Like I've liked like the tousled look, but now it's like, this actually looks really tame, but. I've had some crazy days, guys. Like, crazy days. So here's the verdict, okay? Five months in. Don't get lazy. Maintenance is key. I haven't done that. Hydration is key. Hair masks and stuff, I haven't done none of that. So using a diffuser is key. Using the curly girl method is key. That makes a huge difference. I notice how pretty the curls look whenever the hair's just healthier and it doesn't have all of these, like, extra ingredients. So I, for the most part, just use curly girl friendly products on my hair recently i found that shea moisture that i talked to you guys about in my last video my fall favorites last last video my fall favorites i love that stuff and that is really saving my hair and like i'm so excited about that but i literally just discovered that and i'm obsessed with it but that's the only reason why my hair looks like moisturized like this it's because of that product because that's the only thing i've been doing different and like i can actually wear my hair now like it actually looks shiny and not dull because before that my hair was looking so 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 dull so i would definitely recommend you to to use that if you do get a perm because i wish i would have found out about it sooner because i've had a rough couple of months with my hair like i really have when i do do it i love how the curls look so i'm not saying i don't love them because i do i just don't love the maintenance and i don't do it and so that is keeping me from living my best curly girl life so if you want to live your best curly girl life i mean you have to keep up with it it's not even like you can do one day like get it and then like not do it for the next couple of days i found that that doesn't work for me like every day you would still have to do it you still have to re-wet it with your water bottle all over you still have to put product in it all over again i definitely got to a point where like i was putting so much product in my hair and my hair was feeling so stiff and like i know i could have like broke it up i just didn't like want to deal with it at all and like my hair was like just like literally like a broom like it looked like a broom because it was stiff with product like so much product that i was putting in it but i just wasn't fully like breaking them in or like maybe it was using too much or like and i didn't want to bother with like doing what i needed to do to make it look good so i was just walking around looking like a stiff broom and after that i was just kind of like i'm done like i don't i don't want to deal with it it was kind of like fine if i'm putting too much product i won't put any and like there was a time where i would literally just put leave-in conditioner when i was done with the shower and we've been like on a journey with this hair okay <laughs> i don't know how to deal with this i just i i don't my patience was wearing so thin and then I was just like I'm done I'm done so I am gonna try to keep up with it and get back to like doing it all the time I really like those curls when I do have them so I'm going to do my best to stop being low maintenance and actually 
put time into it because it is a perm it's temporary it's not here forever and i know when it's gone i'm gonna miss it so much no matter how much of a hassle it is curls are so beautiful and they give me so much volume i'm gonna show you guys a clip from the self tape where like my curls are so cute and they're a little frizzy but it's my hair is like so voluminous and they're so intact and like i really miss it because now when i get out of the shower i used to love i used to love when i got out of the shower and like my hair was curly from here to here but as you can tell now like this is my natural hair it's growing out so it's like straight up here and then my curls like start down here okay so i'm gonna quickly show you i just got out of the shower and i put product in my hair normally my hair scrunches right from the root but you can now see where it's like straight at the root and then it curls over here sadly my perm is leaving me i really love it when it's wet and it's all curly that's when i just wish my perm stayed like that all the time and it's really sad when i get out of the shower now and like i scrunch up my hair and like nothing like here nothing that is so depressing because my favorite thing used to be when i got out of the shower how beautiful my curls looked like from root all the way down i've dreamed of that my entire life since i was little and to actually see that i was like oh. now when it dried it was a different story but when it was wet completely out of like fresh like just out of the shower it was so pretty it was beautiful so i know that my time is limited with my hair um and my hair is like quickly growing out and it's loosening up so i'm sad about it so i'm really gonna try to enjoy my curls as much as i can and try to bring them back and try to treat them good because i feel so bad that i've neglect i've literally neglected them like these entire months and i feel bad you know because i love my curls like they're so i've wanted them my whole life and now that i finally have it like i push them to the side and that's just not fair but i am happy that i found that shea moisture product because now i know like at least i can put that in my hair and my hair will actually look shiny and like i can actually wear this and it's cute i really like it but yeah that's my update i don't know if that's like kind of what you guys are looking for but i just wanted to be honest on here with you especially like if you're looking to get a perm or you just kind of want to know what it's like and you have hair like me it is going to be quite a transition this is my reality i can't speak for everyone because like everyone is different it really all depends on you and how much maintenance and time you're willing to put into it and also how well your hair takes the perm and like the type of hair that you have let me quickly show you what is on top of my hair on top of my head this literally the most random hair look at this look at this and there's random pieces like this throughout my entire head and i just find like and i just find them randomly at crazy times of my day i could be at school i could be in the bathroom like i could be in public i could be at home i could just be driving to look in the mirror and i'm like this is what the hair looks like. Um, it was restyled today. Today was day two of styling it. And I redid the whole thing. I even put the diffuser up in it, put some heat. It was looking real cute, but now it's still looking cute, honestly. Hopefully I can wear this tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Ow. Yes? Yes? So the curls are still there, super cute. I definitely like it a lot better when it's diffused. Um, literally, like, what is that? And it's like going straight up too. What? But as far for the hair, the hair is cute. She is diffused and styled and I could afford to break her up a little bit more, but I definitely love the look of it when it is diffused and you can just see it so much more defined i actually really like this look like this right now i'm telling you that product is a game changer it's like i'm obsessed hey guys so it's editing marla here i wanted to quickly note something that i think is super important that i don't think i really talked about in the video but i have been heat setting my hair 
a lot these past couple of months and that's been a huge part of my journey one of the main reasons why i haven't even bothered to like style my hair and cocktail the way that i used to and really take care of it is because i've just been opting out for heat styling my hair whether it's putting a flat iron to it or putting like a wand to it um i've been doing that quite a bit especially these past two months um, so just like a really quick overview of how these past five months have gone the first two months Super excited about my hair living my best curly girl life as we know it And then for like about a month a month and a half is when I was just really going through it I was getting so fed up tired. I could no longer keep balance My hair was getting like super frizzy my stamina started going away was putting way too much product had like broom looking hair because it just got way out of control and Towards the end of that, I just got completely fed up when I told you I just like didn't want to do it anymore. I wore my hair like this quite a bit, would just put leave-in conditioner in it and like didn't really want to deal with it. And the last two months is when I've really been putting a lot of heat into my hair because it's kind of just like, it's honestly just been me taking the easy way out because whenever I heat style it, I just do it once and don't have to think about it if my hair's not heat styled i'll have like one product in there but that's about it so i just wanted to make sure i mentioned that the reason why that's so important for you to know is because anytime that you guys use any type of heat styling tool whether it's a flat iron or a wand or a curling iron or anything to your curls it's going to negatively affect the curl pattern of your hair i have been doing that quite a bit more often than I'd like to admit but just want to make sure that you guys knew and were well aware of that my hair has been through quite a bit of heat styling and obviously I have like breakage throughout my hair like I showed you guys in that little clip um like I have some back here as well I have some on the other side like my whole like back right here like maybe I could show you um like the backs right here little broken pieces and then up here i have a couple as well and that's due to like me i should really be putting like reconstruction mask in it trying to put protein back in my hair moisture back in my hair and i just haven't been so my hair is definitely heat damaged and just chemically damaged from the perm and all of the products i've been using i just wanted to make sure that you guys were well aware of that because it's a huge part of my curly girl journey that's it. This video was to the point. I wanted to be honest with you. I wanted to be realistic. I wanted to just tell you the truth and just share with you how my experience has been going because this is my curly girl journey. Everyone's going to be different, but this is mine. I am definitely going to be back with another update and I'm going to do it sooner rather than waiting so long in between. And I still haven't gotten a haircut ever since. And so like my hair is growing, so I need to cut it ASAP. I do have a couple of curly girl products that I have been loving and obsessed with and I'm so happy that I found them so I am going to be sharing those with you. I'm going to do like a favorite hair products video. That's about it for the update. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like this content, check out the rest of my videos. I have playlists. I have tons of fun stuff. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell to join the fam and I'll see you guys next time.